so I wanted to make this little announcement I needed to make. Apparently, I had a little struggle of making my episode. And apparently, as far as, like, it's going good, but I just got a little bit bored with it. Like, I want to cancel it now. And also, once you get, like, legit at the ending, you will understand why that it's like that. But, uh, this is a canceled episode from, I think it was Sudger and Tails, I think. Anyways, this is a canceled episode project I was doing for Sudger and Tails. I hope you all enjoy it. So I found this great deal that you may like. There's three engines for sale. You can have all three of them on trial if you like. Splendid. What are they? Well, the first two are both GNAR1 and a SIEM1. They're both painted blue, except that one has an unfinished number, but it still has like a number three on its tender. The second has the number of 87546. What about the third engine? Well, the third engine is an LNER B12, I think. His number is 98462. What's his color? I think it's green, I think. What are their names? Well, the unnumbered engine is named Henry. The one with the 87546 doesn't have a name, but the one that is the LNER B12, I think, is called Alfred. Oh, heavens, do you see our land? What, Alfred? Monarization. Eight seven five four six. Soon this railway will swarf by classes. <laughs> Welcome. You must be Alfred and eight seven five four six. Pleased to meet both of you. Hang on, Alfred. Why do you got the number three on your cab? I thought your number was nine eight four six two. Well, I might as well just change it, dude. To be the Northwestern Railway's is number three. Oh, I see. Speaking of three, where's the other engine? Oh, Henry, he must be broken down somewhere. Yes, I cannot tell you how much of a sad story Henry is. I'm sorry about that, sir. I'm Henry, by the way. Ah, right, that's alright, Henry. As long as you're here, that all that matters. Come on, Henry, why are you not starting up? I'm trying! It's just so hard! Come on, Henry! I can see snow over the horizon! It's July! Exactly! You disgraceful freak! He's right. I am a disgraceful freak. Don't say that, Henry. We like you. You do? Of course. Do you always do this to all your coaches on the LNER railway? Why, yes. Well, that's the main reason why we like you. The other ranchers always biff us around. But you take good care of us, Henry. We got your back, old boy. You know, you're right. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to get this train to the station if it's the last thing I do. Yes, I'm disabled, but I'm dang proud of that. That's a spirit, old boy. Uh, hang on, man. I think all the passengers are cheering for you. You can do it, Henry. We're always on your side. Now let's get on to the station, you lovely green engine. You're doing great, but you're building up a lot of steam. Uh-oh. Henry, why are you slowing down? 
There's trouble up ahead. What seems to be the problem? This stupid engine forgot to tank on plenty of water. Tr could you try to help us to the next station? I'll try. Well done, Henry. I'm sorry for all the things I said to you. What things? Ah, never mind about that. Anyways, boy, you do look pretty bad, though. I do not know why, sir. I've been always like this. It's hard for me to get up in the mornings. Well, Henry, I'm taking you to the works. So, Henry, how do you feel? I feel great, sir. Good. So I began to get like a lot of thought, and I decided to give the number three to you. What? Sir, are you sure? Yes, Henry, I'm sure. But as for you two, you both haven't helped. So therefore, you get nothing. I cannot believe about what this railway has come to. Giving the number three to a mongrel? Now, will you excuse me? I gotta get my passenger train ready. Alfred, how dare you preach us all like that? You are a disgrace to the LNER. LNER, indeed. I'll show Fat Hat how to run a real railway. I can't believe I even invested in those two. Excuse me, sir, but you're wanted on the telephone. Bother that telephone. Who is it? It's, um, Sir Nigel Gresley. Well, Scott, I'll see you later. I'm off to my new home now. Goodbye, little brother. Have fun on your new home. I really do wish that you would stop calling me that. You must be Gordon. Welcome to Sodor. Good afternoon, too, sir. And oh my goodness, we got the same voice. Oh, why, yes, we do. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Another LNER. This is perfect. Oh, hello there. And you must be the LNER B12. Fine classes, I see. And he knows his surroundings. Oh, how impressive. The two edges continue on talking for the rest of the day. And so Gordon soon began to like Alfred. Later that day, Gordon was soon telling about his journey to Sodor. And telling them how wonderful their railway is. I really do like your railway. Thank you. Is there anything you do not like about it? Well, there is one thing. I met this engine called Alfred, and you guys treat him poorly, I hear. Why is that? He seems very nice. And polite. Polite? Gordon, Alfred was nothing but trouble when he first came to the railway. Indeed. You can even ask... And I'm sorry to say it, but I was actually friends with him. Well, well th this cannot be true. Can it? Anyways, I gotta get out of here anyways. I gotta go pull my very first express on Sodor. So, say ya. Not to be rude, but HURRY it UP! Sounds like somebody's trying to be bossy. Whoa, boy. You're going up higher than your speed limit. Really? What pace am I going at? You're going at, uh... Dang, you're going up at 70 miles per hour. No, I ain't no. 75. 80. 85. This could be my big break. Come along now, come along. Alright, don't fuss. Alright, don't fuss. 98. 
99. 100. You did it, old boy. Well done. My, we're like 60 minutes early. Well, that's what us Don Kasser engines supposed to go. At a speed limit of 100 miles per hour. 100? Well, this certainly changed my reputation. And so, I decided to give you the reward. How would you like to be the Northwestern Railways' is number four? Oh, sir. I am truly honored for that. Thank you, sir. But I also did on something else besides just that number four. I got a big something. My goodness! Gordon, is that what you? What do you think? Why do you choose blue? To fit in with the family, of course. And plus, I never really did enjoy that apple green color anyways. Well... I can see the painters have done a good job on you, Gordon. Now all we just have to do is just repaint Alfred. And this, and now we cannot tell our engines apart. Now I'm going to be off now. But remember, be on your best behavior. Don't worry about it, sir. Us Don Castadron are always in the best shape ever. Don Castadron, indeed. <coughs> what on the blooming world were you thinking? Thinking about what, Mr. Tantrum? Pitching over your L and E R with that disgusting bright blue. Alfred, I now know why do the angels all treat you like they do. You're absolutely horrid. Ever since when I first met you, you've been nice to me. And now my mind is now in an opposite direction that I want to get close to be friends. Is that so? Yes, it is so. Remember all those years that you abused at me? I tell you, I did not enjoy those. I cannot believe in what this railway is coming to. Neither can I, having you around. Will you shut up, you great, big, blue, racket steaming hippopotamus? Why, you insolent little son of a... Ow! Why, you... Guys, stop it! <laughs> Come on, Alfred, show him who's boss. What the... What's going on? Huh. Good riddance. Shut up and get out of here. Gordon, I'm not impressed with your behavior today. I know, sir. I'm sorry. Look, I know that Alfred may have said some things. But still, you should know better than just biff other engines around. I know, sir. I'm sorry. You are forgiven this time, but don't let it happen again. Understood? Yes, sir. It was at that moment I realized that Alfred would probably never will felt shame of remorse of my actions. I hardly ever remit to shame, but that's what makes an engine, a proper engine, a really useful engine. Ever since that day, I never had an accident with Alfred again. I avoided him, but boy, did it work wonderful. Never again did I ever talk down to him like that. In 1923, this was where the, the railway series stores began. Edward the Blue Angels was hardly ever used at all, due since he wasn't as big and strong like the rest of us. Engines like me and Henry were more important for, angels, for little engines like him. But however, he was soon able to let out after helping me up by... Going up a hill with some cars up a hill. <laughs> From what I heard, you refused to try. Well, then you must have heard the story wrong, my dear chap. And besides, the story was actually wrong. Henry was actually painted blue, but he was repainted after his flying kipper accident in 1935. Speaking of paint, Henry, after his incident with many engines on the LNER railway, they often been crashing into the sea a lot, and so Henry was scarred by that. So one day, he made an idiotic choice of hiding inside of a tunnel. And like you guess, I have to try many failed experience, but quite honestly, pathetic excuse to give him out. So Tom had brick, simply built a brick wall right over Henry and left him inside the tunnel. He was there for over a month, until one day my safety valve burst, 
and Henry was the only big engine that could pull the train all by, all on his own. Edward joined, Edward helped out too, just to get over the hill. But as we hit the year of 1924, we hit the end of Alfred and this new coming of James. Cause you see, Alfred was never a good engine on the island of Sodor, and so Sir Thomas had had arrangements to send him away. But as you think, Alfred did not take this well. It, in fact, it um, it it made him cross, furious. Well, yeah, but it also made him insane. He went mad, bunkered, mentally disturbed. It's over, all over. No escape. Oh, will you stop it? Why? There's nothing else to talk about. Keep up an attitude like that, there won't. When Gordon came to Sodor, I had hoped that he will probably bring me back into the spotlight. But now I realize, instead of becoming my rescuer, Gordon became my replacement. These engines treated me like a dirty rat. And besides, they can't be really useful if they're scrapped. <laughs>